What's going on you guys? That's right, it is Friday. One more work week in the books. Today's actually payday, but tonight I should be going out to dinner with my wife, hanging out at home on the couch, watching TV. But instead, I'm on my way to LAX to pick up a shipment from the Solomon Islands. So that will be tonight's big excitement. So that's kind of how it is. Non-stop working, working, working. Hopefully I won't have any traffic and I'm out. So I'm gonna show you guys what's coming in the boxes. Not an unboxing, it's an uncrating. Right you guys, you're coming with. Okay, you guys, so I'm clear from the airport. I don't know if you can see the crates in the back of my truck here, but everything's clear. I've got all the cargo with me. Everything was very, very thoroughly inspected and, and there were no issues. So it just was very time consuming. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, but of course this time it was, it was pretty rough. So I think I spent um, the better part of three hours out there at the airport. Uh, by the time I hit the freeway, the rush hour was at its peak and so I sat in traffic for a good long while and now I am finally getting a break on the highway here. It opened up. I should be home here pretty soon. I'm losing light. Uh, it's, it's about 7 p.m. and the sun is going to be starting to set here and I'm losing daylight. So I think what I'm probably gonna do is show you guys a little bit of the unpacking this evening. I'll let all the animals settle in during the night and then tomorrow when I have better light, I will go back and highlight some of that stuff because I know you guys wanna see what came in the shipment. So that is about it and I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, you guys, so I am now obviously finally back home. Still a little bit of light left, but it's starting to get a little bit dark. So I will give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek here. And first up are the monkey tail skinks. These are one of the cutest reptiles. <laughs> Look at that face. And they're a bit rambunctious once they warm up. These animals are cold, so we're going to get them warmed up and let them settle in. But, you know, with my newfound fascination with skinks, this is just kind of takes it all to a whole nother level. So, little babies. And Apple wasn't here with the last shipment, so she didn't get a chance to see these, but I know she's going to be falling in love with these for sure. But really cute little guys, but they're cold. I'm going to get them on some heat, get them warmed up. And I think tomorrow when I show you guys these again, you're going to see a whole different animal because I was quite surprised in the change in uh, demeanor <laughs> once they warmed up. It's, it's a whole nother story, but uh, super cool. Cutest face ever. <laughs> All right, let's get you on some heat. So we also got some Varanus spinulosis, some spiny neck monitors. Those are just beautiful. So cool. So we will get them soaked and get them on some heat. But I'm very happy with what I see. Pretty, pretty. 
So it is now Saturday morning. The animals have a, had a chance to settle. Haven't really sorted through them so much. I put them away last night and I've gone through some a little bit more this morning and then I pulled some and just set them here just temporarily staged for um, easier video access. So basically, uh, these are the ground boas. I just threw a couple random ones in here. They range from your standard gray, which is kind of the most common color phase of these guys. And then it just starts getting a little weird from there where you've got aberrant animals where they don't have so much of a standardized zigzag dorsal pattern. This one is actually very strange. I've never seen one like that. And then from these, I just kind of have them just randomly sort of scattered about. This one is, this looks like a gravid female. She's pretty close, I think, to giving birth because the, the mass there is right there at the vent where my little finger is here. Um, I think post shed this animal will be really really colorful and nice but so we've got a couple bigger ones like that and then you know like another gray one there's a couple of these kind of bizarre looking red-ish colored ones which probably will color up real nice as they get bigger and it just kind of moves on from there. This one is a really interesting one right here. A little bit different than what I'm used to. It has a very thick dorsal stripe that kind of goes out to the nose. It is very, very strange, very different. This animal also could be gravid. It has a lot of girth in all the right spots, but it is a very beautiful animal. So I know what you guys are saying, that the biggest problem you have with these animals is their heads aren't big enough to balance the fidget spinner on. But um, you know, for those of you that want to do that, maybe you need to move into some different species of boa that are boa or python that are a little bigger. But uh, anyway, really happy with animals like this. Pretty stuff. And we'll be sorting these animals out and getting them back into their permanent spots with water bowls and the whole bit. This one's super interesting. It's got white spots all over the place, which is really bizarre. Also, something that I'm not used to seeing. Now, this is urates right here. This is their skin stains pretty easily with um, with their own urine and stuff. So. Post shed, this will be also a really unique, pretty animal. So that is also quite cool. And, and again, a couple more of the more common looking gray animals. And here's a couple other animals. These animals were soaking in the water bowls. Um, these are sold, these came in a previous shipment, but um, there are a number of these um, Isabels and colored animals um, from white all the way to some of the ones that are more tan and a little bit pinkish. So I do have some of those um, tucked away. There's a good number of them. So we'll let those animals settle in and start feeding. And that's just kind of the random sampling of the ground boas. Now we'll move into the tree boas. I just kind of grabbed a quick representation of um, kind of the three basic colors. Uh, we have the, the gray and white and then the red animals and then the animals that are a bit more to the gray side with some pink. And then, um, you know, the animals range in color mixes of this, but these are somewhat the basic color schemes. And so it's a mix of animals like this. Um, let's show you guys a really big one that kind of impressed me. And, uh, but these animals, you know, as soon as you say tree boas, everyone's thinking, oh, they bite, they gotta bite, because everything that's a tree boa or a tree python usually is defensive, bitey, and all that, but these are really docile animals. So, pretty cool, really neat stuff. Don't see them very often. Um, there was a shipment that came in like a week ago, and so there are a few random animals that are 
um, being flipped on the market right now. But um, these animals are here settling in and we'll get them all feeding and established really well. And then by the time our first expo comes up, we'll have these animals all established and good to go. And this is gonna pretty much be close to the top end size. So pretty much like an Amazon tree boa, but except the big difference is, you know, the demeanor these guys are really docile, but um, they do go through a lot of color changes in mood, like a mood related color change. So from day to night, sometimes you'll look in there and you'll be like, where's that red one? Or where's that yellow one or whatever. And then the animals look completely different. Um, a lot of these animals came out of the bags last night looking, you know, different. And then this morning they look different. And every time I'll go back and look again, they will still keep changing. So I'm going to break them up and house them all singly so we can keep track of who's who and what's what and pay more attention to the, the color changes. So that's about it for the tree boas. And I'll give you guys a look at, another look at the monkey tail skinks. They are uh, a bit rambunctious now that they're warmed up. So now we're a bit warmed up and paying more attention. Please don't bite me. Um, and they're just like a whole different kind of animal. And I don't want to get bit on my forearm, but they're paying attention and very irritable <laughs> so and the bites hurt they've got a really strong bite and i don't want him to take a nip out of my forearm i don't think he will but um totally different animals now that they're all warmed up so cute as can be really like these little guys are really cute so that is about it, you guys. I'm gonna continue getting everything sorted. Um, everything's put away, everything was housed last night and everything was very comfortable. But now this morning, I'm gonna go through it um, a little closer. Uh, we kinda got a broad breakdown of gender on the boas, at least. These guys are too small to sex. But um, offering food and water and uh, getting everything kinda squared away and dialed in. And that is about it. So. If you guys are interested in any, oh, this guy's going to do something to my forearm. Please don't. <laughs> um, if any of you guys are interested, no, don't do it. If any of you guys are interested in any of this stuff, don't do it. Um, we will be in Pasadena at the Repticon on June, I believe it's 15th and 16th or 16th and 17th, whatever that weekend is. We will be there and we will be bringing a lot of these animals out with us. I'm gonna put this guy away because he's gonna do it. So, all right, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that, Solomon Islands. And um, we got another shipment um, from Indonesia coming next week. So we'll come at you again with another unboxing, uncrating. Unboxing, that's, for hob that's hobbyist stuff. That's just domestic stuff. We do uncrating here at DM Exotics. Thanks for watching. Take care. See ya.